Now we are going to talk about the formation of the notochord. Notochord is nothing but at again the same cell, primitive pit, primitive node. Last video we have seen what is primitive pit, primitive node, and all. Again, I explain. Initially, this is the embryonic disc. This is the upper part, germ disc. Okay, this is the upper layer, and down we will be having the lower layer. So this is the upper layer. The upper layer it is called as epiblast. Beneath that is called as hypoblast. Now we are talking about the epiblast. The epiblast initially a vague streak forms that is called as primitive streak. Primitive streak. And in the cranial end of the primitive streak, there is a node formation that is called as primitive node. In the center of the node, there is a pit called primitive pit. Now what happens is the cranial end and this is the caudal end. Towards the cranial end, you will be having something called as procaudal plate. What is that? Procaudal plate. So we will put some other color for the procaudal plate. So I will put this color for the procaudal plate. This is called uh, precaudal plate. And what is precaudal plate? This is a uh, signaling part or it is a primitive part of the head and neck formation. So this from here only the entire head and neck will be formed. So this is the important point in this notochord. So precaudal pre pre plate. So what happens now, the cells from the epiblast, they go inside this primitive pit and they go down, they go down and what happens, already I have told you, there are two layers, one is the epiblast, another one is the hypoblast. So I will draw the epiblast here and I will draw the hypoblast here, understood? Now what happens, this is the primitive pit, through the pit the cells are, epiblastic cells are going down and they form a cord. And they form a cells, notochordal cells, pre notochordal cells. They form the notochordal cells. These notochordal cells they come and they merge with the hypoblast. So, this prim epiblastic cells they enter into the primitive pit and they come down and they lie on the hypoblast. What happens? It will not go beyond this primitive node and it will be going in front and it should stop at the level of the precordial plate. It should not go beyond that because what is there in front of that buccopharyngeal membrane, future oral cavity is here. Like that caudary also you will be having a membrane called floecal membrane. That is future anal canal. Now the cells are entering and they are um, just adherent to the hypoblast. Now during the formation of the trilaminar germ disc, three layer formation, this hypoblastic cells will be, this hypoblast will be transformed into endodom, isn't it? In between you will be having a mesodom. So when the trilaminar gem disc formation, this hypoblast will be transforming into endodom. <coughs> now what happens? These cord like cells, they detach. So now they got detached. So again I will draw the, now it is called ectodom. Okay. And mesodom is there. In between you have the mesodom. And this is called as Endodum. Endodum separately we have to draw. So endodum is here. Understood? Now in between only you have the notochord. Mesodum is also there. So now in the notochord what happens? The notochord got detached and this is the primitive no primitive node pit and all. And here is the precordial plate and here is the membrane called buccopharyngeal membrane. One thing what I said is the notochord is the structure which extends from the primitive pit to the precordial plate it will not extend beyond that and one more thing also we should know that the mesodom layer also it should stop here it should not be gone outside beyond the precordial plate so what happens at which level uh, only up to the precordial plate only you will be having some structure called as mesodom so here also buccopharyngeal membrane is here so up to this only you will be having mesodom so at the level of the buccopharyngeal membrane and at the level of the cloacal membrane we do not have mesodom that is the most important point we do not have mesodom only ectodom only ectodom and endodom will be there and there is no mesodom in, at the level of the buccopharyngeal membrane and the cloacal membrane so this is a very important point this is a very important point next thing is now we'll come down again to the notochord so notochord extension of the notochord we have to tell from the primitive to pit to the precordial plate now it got detached and this is the axis 
this acts as an axis for the future vertebral column formation and neural tube formation everything so what happens neural notochord formation occurs next what has the process is after the formation of the notochord this notochord sends signals to the ectoderm so what happens in ectoderm that we'll see so when it, the notochord sends signal to the ectoderm what happens the ectoderm it forms a fold it forms a fold so this is your ectoderm blue color indicates ectoderm yellow color indicates endoderm okay in between mesoderm is red in color so in this neural uh, this ectoderm forms a tube like this this tube is called as neural tube so at the margins of the neural tube there is something called as neuroectodermal cells okay so this is called as neuroectodermal cells so what happens this notochord only it sends signals to the ectoderm and they form a fold called neural tube this neural tube will be tra transformed into uh, spinal cord and the brain vesicle so this fold will be transformed into cranially few vesicles the vesicles cranially means upper part few vesicles that vesicles will be transformed into brain and the lower part is the narrow one yeah, that will be transformed into spinal cord now what happens this fold now the end is open so what happens next is <coughs> this will get approximated again it the fold is getting approximated and the next process is it gets detached so it gets detached so now it is a separate one this forms a nice tube and the top layer will be gone like this understood okay this entire process got detached and the top layer is fused top layer is fused entire thing got detached so this will be transformed into this is the proper neural tube this is called neural tube closure neural tube is closed and the top layer will be transformed into so many derivatives are there from the ectoderm so skin nail everything it's getting developed from the ectodermal cells so everything is closed if it fails to close if the neural tube is fails to close at the cranial end cranial mean head end the anomaly is called anencephaly the baby will not be having the cranial vault otherwise if the lower end is not fused what will happen uh, you will be having spina bifida bifid spine or the third one is everything will be closed but in the lower bottom in the spinal cord lower level the skin will be having tough tough hair that is called spina bifida occulta occulta means some hidden hidden something is hidden so inside it is not fused so only tough tough hair will be seen at the bottom near the sacrum okay that is called spina bifida occulta in some cases near the nape of the neck only if the meninges only the meninges coverings of the brain not the spinal cord only the coverings of the brain is coming out that is called as meningocele meningocele if sometimes along with the meninges the brain material is also coming out it is called meningomyelocele myelocele so these are the abnormalities of neural tube fusion so vitamin b12 is important so folic acid to be given for all the pregnant ladies uh, for the fusion of the neural tube now we will talk about this one what is this one i said neuroectodermal cells these cells will be detached these cells will be detached and the neuroectodermal cells that will be transformed into so many things number one is sc uh, facial skeleton and the skull number two is skin of the face and the skull and the number three is um, dorsal root ganglion and four is sympathetic ganglion and autonomous ganglion everything is the derivative of neuroectodermal cells so neuroectodermal derivatives is a short note for you so neuroectodermal cells derivatives you have to under learn so i will show you the neuroectodermal cell derivatives this is how i explain no? this is a primitive bit how the ectodermal cells are entering and they displace the hypoplast and they form a new layer when they displace the hypoplast this is called endoderm 
and they form a new layer mesoderm the endoderm will be trans given or give rise gives rise to all the git organs and the mesoderm will be transformed into in the middle now i will explain you in the middle this is the mesoderm right so this notochord formation also i will in the notochord formation i will explain so here how the primitive pit through that only the cells are coming the cells are lying on the hypoblast when the hypoblast is transformed into the endoderm these cells will become detached and this from the notochord <coughs> the notochord forms the axis so can you see the notochord the notochord forms an axis this is the mesoderm the notochord is here the notochord forms an axis surrounding the axis only you have all the vertebral muscles so the mesoderm present just adjacent to the axis is called as paraaxial parallel paraaxial mesoderm and the next one is called as intermediate mesoderm and this part of the mesoderm is called lateral plate mesoderm so three parts are here and uh, the paraaxial mesoderm give rise gives rise to all the muscles of the vertebral column and the intermediate mesoderm gives rise to the genito urinary system and the lateral plate mesoderm gives rise to the blood vessels So that's all about the neural tube and the neural crest. Here I will show you the neural crest cells. I said how the neural tube is formed and it is approximated and it is detached from the ectoderm and the ectoderm is closed and these are the neural tube, uh, neural crest cells. The neural crest cells derivatives uh, are important short notes for you. These are the derivatives. At least you keep it in mind. Number one is connective tissue and bones of face and skull first you keep it in mind slowly from upper to lower you should come so one is face and skull the same things immediately you can write about the um, dermis on the face and skull so number one is connective tissue bones and the face and skull and the dermis of the face uh, face and neck and the third is skull you are talking about so cranial nerve ganglia you talk about then you come down in the neck you are having the thyroid gland and neck to odontoblast odontoblast is present in the teeth next you have to come to the teeth and then you have to come to the heart conotruncal septum of the heart and then come down to the back spinal uh, ganglia and sympathetic chain and ganglion parasympathetic ganglia when you talk about the sympathetic ganglion and you should talk about the adrenal medulla schwann cells all are related to the spinal cord schwann cells are peripheral nervous system and glial cells all these are nervous system related so you put everything at the last arachnoid and pyometer and melanocytes at the end if you want you can add melanocytes along with the uh, skin dermis of the face and neck so for that we need to draw a nice diagram to keep it in mind how to remember so i will draw the picture so how to draw for remembering purpose first to draw the face okay so this is the facial skeleton skull and the face so number one is um, bones and connective tissue of the skull and face second thing is called dermis of the face so you have to draw dermis so you should color it dermis of the face okay dermis of the face so number two is dermis of the face so this color is due to what melanocytes so there are three so connective tissue and bones of the face and second thing is dermis of the face and three is melanocytes and the four is the teeth teeth I, what i said odontoblast so you should write odontoblast at four and then thyroid five and next c cells the mainly only c cells of the thyroid gland c cells of the thyroid gland are important and number six is you come down uh, to the heart in the heart what do you have heart conotruncal septum of the heart so this is heart six and then to the vertebral column so you spinal cord spinal cord you write autonomic nervous system dorsal root ganglia and sympathetic chain and then peripheral nervous system schwann cells schwann cells is peripheral nervous system these are all this one here i forgot to write when you write about this you should write about the cranial nerve nucleus also and then last is schwann cells adrenal medulla that is very important medulla of the adrenal is derived from very important mcq not the cortex only the medulla of the adrenal is very important derived from the neural crest derivatives arachnoid matter pyometer last is covering 
एवरीथिंग फिनिश्ड